Hello everyone, this is Mr. Maybury and I'm here to tell you how to do your last project, all right? If you're watching this from somewhere else and you do digital music, feel free to go ahead and hit me up and I can give you this track right here that you could have your students do. All right, so check it. Here it is, our objective is to be able to fix the tuning, timing, and form of a song. So you're gonna click on this, download Duke of Earl, and then here it is. Once you do, on the Mac, double click on it and it's going to come up right here after you double click on that it'll come up on Logic Pro like this so what do we do with this well there are 10 things that you have to do label the form of the music a section and B section well if you take a look it's kind of already splat out for you here uh, I don't know why I said splat out but listen to it here it goes so we have the intro here. We have the, obviously the A section. So there's some note issues here you can hear already, but it's now the B section. You can tell that. All right, so. With the tuning issues and with the timing issues and with other things, we're going to fix first what it says and we're going to go in order. All right, so number one, label the form of the music. So in order to do that, you want to be able to look at the arrangement, right? So you click on this thing right here and then you, you add the arrangement. Global tracks. And we're going to go, oh, there's the arrangement track right there. And if you don't have this up here, then you got to make sure that happens. So we're going to go to track, global tracks, show arrangement track, and there's a shortcut for it. All right. And then right here, how to get to this section, you push plus, and here's the intro. And that's going to be to right here. Then you're going to add the A section and rename this A. And then this actually goes to right here, you see. It's nice eight measures. And then we're going to do one more. And we're going to name this B. All right, there we go. Second thing you want to do, make sure that we, we do is we're going to see this. We're going to close this right here. Okay. Now you have this B section. And you could, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to in the arrangement track, you could put right here, you could say, that this is outro and rename outro or the ending whatever you want to put all right so I'm gonna close this up here it goes right there there we go and now you have your form of your song so number one's done the second one chop the audio that isn't directly in time well we're gonna come back to this one let's go ahead and skip number two we're gonna go to number three add drums to the mix well you guys know how to get the drums. You pretty much go to your loops right here on this section. And then you're going to obviously go to your drums and be able to add that in. And it's going to be at 120 beats per minute, BPM. And that's the script right here at, at that. And this is obviously going to load these uh, tracks. I'm going to go to all drums. And I'm going to find something that's going to to really feel like a good, I don't know, this is like an old doo-wop, right? Let's see if they have any doo-wop. Hip-hop. Uh oh, well, that's what we have to do. do, 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 do. That's going to totally change the song, right? So we're going to take this hip hop. Let's say, all right, we're going to put it right here. And we're going to make this go all the way to the end. So we have now this. But you see, that was the timing here. It was a little bit late on one of these. So we have to fix that. We're going to do it later. I'm going to mute this because it's there. Done. I added a track. Don't use the same one, please. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this so I can concentrate only on this. Now, the next thing we have to do is we're going to um, add pitch correction to the plugin. Okay. So we're going to click on the lead. And then we're going to go down here, audio effects, pitch correction, mono. And if you don't have it up here, I want you to, this is your recent ones, right? It says recent. 
we're going to go down to pitch, pitch correction, mono. Then we're going to click there. And then the next thing it says, make the pitch corrector process frequency using an E major scale. Well, here it goes. I'm going to go to major scale. And then after that, I could change this to E. And you're going to do this on every single track. So here it goes. Um, going down here, pitch, pitch correction, mono. And here it goes. Now, as I'm doing this each one, there is another way to do this. I'm going to go ahead and do this fast. Um, now it's on my recent, right? Major scale. Okay. Well, you could make everything right here bust to another track. And you could obviously do that. But we haven't got to that in Digital Music 1. Don't worry about it. Good. I'm going to get rid of all these. Now, if you listen to the recording of everything, watch this. Kind of like fixed it, right? Well, let's go over here and then... You see that fixed this, right? The Listen again. Let's see what happens if we turn this pitch off right here. And if you want to add another thing, you click on right here, right? So we're going to go down here and we're going to turn off the pitch. Here it goes. Ready? See how awful that sounds? But now we're going to turn it back on. Okay, here it goes. Oops, that's not what I want. Input one. All right, now. Oh, uh, so much better. All right, so now that you just did that, so you just did uh, made the pitch corrector process E major scale, add a tiny bit of reverb to the vocals in plugins, don't add too much. So reverb is what that is, is right here, this little thing right here, you click on this, and then you go to um, delay, and you have, or you can go to actually reverb right here, and then you have a couple of them you can add. So for example, if I wanna go ahead and go solo this, that's a little pitch, pitch seven. Maybe if I take the pitch off there, it might sound better, but it doesn't matter. Right now, we're going to add a reverb. Here it goes. Click on here, and reverb, go to mono. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. Oh, you know what I did? I didn't add reverb here. You can't hear it because I had this tenor highlighted. So watch this. Hear that? You heard the reverb? I did it on the wrong track. I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn the reverb off. I'm going to click on lead, make sure this is clicked, and I'm going to click right here, and then I'm going to uh, mono. Here it goes. That's too much, right? So your dry is your own voice. The wet is the voice of whatever else is going on. You definitely want 100% dry. And if you want to hear something over and over again, you just loop it right here. Watch this. And play around if you want. Now, see, this is a little bit louder. We definitely want to fix that so it's not as loud. Because I... All right. Anyway. So we're going forward with this. Now we have a reverb. We're going to add it to all of them. Next, um, add one more thing to the arrangement to make it sound good. And this could be a plug-in. So you could you could add music. You can add, um, don't add another drum beat. That doesn't count. It counts as more drums. Anything else but a drum beat. But you could add um, anything. Play around with this kind of stuff. You could even add EQ if you want right here. This is really cool. If you're adding like the bass, listen to the bass. Let's go ahead and target this. And then let's go ahead and solo this. And then let's go ahead down here, make sure this is selected. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to EQ and I'm going to go to mono. Listen to this. See? I all of a sudden thickened it up, and then you could have this. Ready? Here it goes. Now, let's see what it sounds like with everybody. 
without with so there you go you have that now you added something that could be EQ um, and then you're gonna tell me with two and three paragraphs describing what you added and um, you know why does it make it sound better save the file as this title so when you're done with it and you want everything played you make sure nothing is selected if I bounce this down only this will bounce down I'm, nothing is selected all right, first of all, I'm gonna screenshot this. You guys, Command Shift 3, if you want to just do the entire thing, or Command Shift um, 4, if you want to select. Make sure I can hear, the, see the outro and the intro. So I'm gonna back out here. There we go. So you can see everything. All right, cool. And then, uh, I'm gonna make sure that I can see a pitch corrector here, so make sure I can see this area as well. Then I want to go ahead and file, bounce, project, make sure the MP3, it is good. 160 is good. Okay. And this is where you name it. What do you name it? Well, you name it 4.12 Duke of Earl. And you also name the screenshot that. I'm going to Command C, copy that. I'm going to Command B, paste this. I'm going to delete that one little thing. I'm going to delete this back thing. And then there you go. That's where you name it. Bounce it down. Make sure it's on the desktop or somewhere you can find it. And then all of a sudden take the screenshot and rename the screenshot. Screenshot. I'm going to Command Shift 3. So I did take that screenshot right here. I'm going to, again, this is 4.12 Duke of Earl. I can name it Screenshot. I mean, that's I could do that if I want. And there you go. That's what it is, okay? And if you want to double check, you double click on it. This bounces up in the previews there. All right, anyway. Um, and you turn that in. I go into here and file, turn in, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. You know that point by now. So... Now, let's talk about timing. This is going to be the big thing, all right? And that's number two. Chop up the audio that isn't directly in time and clean up the timing of the sung notes. Well, you can see, let's go ahead and target something. So this. The first one, it was like click Duke. So I'm going to actually zoom in here. Ah, look at this. Look at this. Every line right here. Beats, 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 beats. Needs to be lined up exactly. Now, if you notice this has a space here, I'm going to trim this down, and I'm going to take this thing, and I'm going to move it over right here. So now it's going to come right on the beat. Same with this. I'm going to also solo this now, and I'm going to trim this down. I'm going to move this back here. Trim, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to move it back here. Right when it does this, Duke. All right? So let's see what happens now. The Earl was a little bit late, right? So let's fix the Earl. Trim. I think I trim this right here. Let's see what it sounds like. Actually, I'm, I'm going to trim it right here because there's some silence here. And then I'm going to move this back just a little bit. Here we go. Move this back. Oh, let's trim this right here. You don't you don't want to affect everything else when you're moving things. There we go. This might be able to be moved back a little bit too. Click. Yeah, so just in general, it seems like things are just tiny bit slightly later than they should be. You can tell this right here again, the waveform, the lines here, look how late this is. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to trim this. I'm probably even going to bring this in a little bit. And then I'm going to go over here, trim this. I'm going to move this over here. Uh, look at these. Yeah, this one's definitely off. You can tell, look, this line. So I'm going to trim this, bring it over here. Now, if you messed up and you actually trimmed something you weren't supposed to, you could you could fix it, okay? Command Z, don't do that. Whoops. There we go. To cover, I can take this entire thing right here, I think, and then just move it over just a little bit. Now, look how late this is. This is right where it just kind of really gets to the bread and butter of that Duke, right? So the, the trick is the audio is kind of taking this and making the, the uval right where that line hits right there. Yes, so I can probably move everything back a little bit if I wanted to. 
Okay, so that's pretty good. Now the Oz that you have here later on, look at that. Yes, I. Yeah, look how the timing is completely different here. You definitely want to make sure that that's fixed. Now, again, you don't want to see the space right here. You want to be able to take advantage of that space. Only cut at the space. So I'm going to trim it. That's Command T, by the way. And then I'm going to move this over here to this this line is where I'm going to go into because that's where the 13th bar is. Okay. Now there's a little bit of space here. Don't worry about it. This, again, is a little bit late. Let's see everything's late. That's late. I'm just going to move everything over. Here we go. All right, let's go in solo. Let's see what's what's changed a little bit here. All right, I'm going to zoom back out. Zoom back out. Okay. There we go. Let's go from right here. Much better, right? You definitely want the lead to be a little bit louder. There it goes. Oh, that's way loud. So this part right here is super duper loud. You hear that? This right here could be knocked back a little bit. How do you change just the gain for one thing? Well, I'm going to double click on here and actually we take a look at it. I can do a couple things. I can make a new track. I'm going to command D, duplicate that track, bring it down here, turn it down, like just specifically that. Or if I wanted to, I could also manipulate it here. And um, I could run it through a compressor if I wanted to, uh, to make sure that it's not capping out. So if I wanted to compress mono, this causes it not to over peak. So let's see what happens. So you can do all kinds of edits right there. I recommend the compressor, to be honest with you, and just playing around with it and make sure that this is the same volume. And this is a brighter sound than this one right here. So I should definitely add a compressor on here too, right? What is this? Oh, that's some reverb. Um, compressor. Okay. There we go. You see how now it's like very even, like it's one's not louder than the next. So that's another thing you could add to say that you did that to, to make it better. Make sure you can hear the melody better than everything else. Bounce this down, MP3, get it in there, and then that's your project. Please make sure that everything's lined up in time. And when you bounce it down, make sure that this is not selected, okay? Anyway, um, the video's been a little bit long, but it's your project, your final project. I hope it was worth it. You guys still stay awesome. I can't wait to see what you guys have done with this and see what your creative minds have done to make this uh, possible. This is editing mostly and, and then adding the compressor and other things, a little bit of a, a mixing. Okay, so you're doing minor editing and mixing for this. All right, guys, signing out. Thank you. This is Mr. Mayberry. Again, if you have any questions, I would tell you to look at the video if it's in here. And then if not, uh, then feel free to ask and I will answer them. Thank you. Bye.